And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Singleton Invoke. After seeing that other Singleton deck that we played a few days ago that looked really good with uh, Piltover and Zon and Freljord, I got a donation deck from a viewer to play another Singleton deck with Targon and Piltover and Zon. Now, this one isn't quite a Singleton deck. It's super, super close, but there is a couple of um, multiple copies of some cards. First off, we got two copies of Death Ray. This should really help us against aggro. Um, you know, being able to get the Death Ray MK1, then two, then three. Very, very useful card against aggro. So we have two copies of that. Looking down, a bunch of one copy cards. And then there are going to be three copies of Pursuit of Perfection. I just had one in, in the Singleton deck we played a few days ago um, because, you know, we were playing just one of every single card. But this one is going to be built more on the Pursuit of Perfection and playing three copies of it. So we got three of those. And then there's also two Aurelian Souls at the top end because this champion is ridiculously powerful. And it's nice having um, the champion spell, I suppose. Like if we do have one Aurelian Soul and play the Descent into Darkness. Wrong card. The Skies Descend. <laughs> That's the name of this card. The Skies Descend will be very good as well. Um, so yeah, it looks really interesting. It looks really fun to play. Singles and decks are a blast to play because every game's different. Um, we play some cards we don't normally play very much of. Like we got Divergent Paths in here. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and I was like, man, where's where's our landmark? There's one landmark in here, the star-tipped peak. So this is going to be our landmark that we could draw with the path to get some more celestial cards. Um, there's a clump of wumps in here. Getting a mushroom cloud for us. Uh, we can, like, discard the mushroom cloud doing some stuff. I don't know. It's going to be sweet. That's what singleton decks are. They're going to be fun. That's kind of what today's theme is. Let's have some fun. Um, it's the towards the end of the season. We got a new expansion and everything next week let's have some fun today so here we go singleton invoke <laughs> someone's probably done the deck before dan I'll, I'll say that i'll be very surprised if if you made a deck that i haven't played before but what what is your deck Aurelia Azir. All right, we got our five champions. We got our KDA board. Iterative Improvement could actually be kind of decent, I suppose. Do I want, like, Iterative Improvement Ballistic Bot? Um, I'm going to mulligan him. Cool. Uh, what are they? Yeah, so there's one Dragon's Clutch in here for... Hey, how about that? We found it. Draw two different dragons. We have two dragons in the deck. I, I think there's just the two dragons. Eclipse Dragon and Early and Soul. Echo, 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 echo. Um... How about the Messenger? Like, there is Equinox, I know. I'm take the Messenger, keep the card draw going. Should I have Equinox for that? But the thing is, like, Equinox, like, honestly isn't, like, really that great in this matchup. Because of all the recall cards, right? So, like, I Equinox the Greenblade do, and, you, and you're like, oh, man, that's awesome. And then they just, like, recall it. And then you're like, oh, well, I guess that wasn't as awesome as I thought. Like, it, I guess it would force them to recall that instead of this droplet, but, you know. Whoa. Unexpected. I wonder if 
part of their plan is just to simply recall this Azir anyway, or probably means they have a backup Azir. I certainly see blocking this Sand Soldier still. Alright, that makes sense. Messenger. Greet the night. Ugh, yuck. That's really Zero Dex, not so bad. It's probably going some places. Because it definitely used one of those death rays, right? Like that's that's kind of the thing. It's like we have the two death rays in the deck, and that's kind of what we needed. Um, but unfortunately, that's kind of it for our removal. Right, like there's no Mystic Shot, no Thermo Beam, nothing like that, so I think we are going to kind of struggle when our opponent is trying to kill us. What are they... Alright, so they just had both... Okay, well we're, we're kind of dead anyway, but why didn't they just do this first and then like kill me with the Green Blade Duo? But I guess we're... Because these are like four two ones. each one is four two ones, so like we're we're dead. Azir is a heck of a card. Yeah, you could definitely hit Masters with a really Azir. It's the best stack in the game. Absolutely. Okay, this is a deck a little bit more our speed. They got a bunch of good stuff, and it's a great deck, you know, so it's not like we're necessarily going to win, but I'm just saying this is a deck a little bit more our speed. Let's mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Keep, mulligan, keep. Hmm. Mulligan, keep. I'm not sure. I don't know what to do with you, Priestess. Mulligan. Well, we got our top end. Next round, we can go Production Surge for six. And get a bunch of cool little turrets in. Or I could play Aphelios this round. Going Dustbringer, Dust, Aphelios. I'll just do this, though. They have to be a little worried about blocking, right? Like, worried that I'll kill the dragon chow? Yeah. They a little worried. Pass. No for Shivana. Well, I can't really beat Shivana. So I think that's like the thing that we're kind of learning about this deck that we're playing is there are a lot of good cards in it and it looks pretty good but the problem i think that we have is that there's just not enough interaction right like as far as like interaction for especially for champions right like you got to have especially when you're playing like a, a slow deck like this you got to be able to interact with your opponent's champions and just units and stuff we have two death array which you know that's that's what it is. Um, one hush, and one sunburst. 
Those are the only, like those are the only cards in our deck that can target a champion immediately. Obviously, we have like a bunch of invoke things that can get some different things, but that's probably something that we should. Uh, yeah, maybe we should have like a thermogenic beam, a mystic shot. Um, you know, get excited. Uh, gotcha. You know, like all that kind of stuff. There's other things we could probably be doing. All right, so we're gonna try to get this Eclipse Dragon Aurelian Soul out a little earlier. We will resist. I wanna get the most damage I can on the Shivana. Sure. I absolutely love trading Lunari Duskbringer for Sharpsight, for how good Sharpsight is. I, if I'm my opponent, I'm that's that's not that good of a... yeah. I don't think that... I think that's kind of a little bit of a waste. Um... Alright, and I want to do this right now so I can play Eclipse Dragon this next round, but I don't want to do it next round because then it would be Nightfall Dragon, but I want Daybreak Dragon because I want the Aurelian Soul costing two less. So like some of these cards, like like Divergent Paths, honestly, should probably be, you know, like a removal spell. Like a Get Excited or something. Felio's turn. What kind of two mana cards do I have for Felio's? What do we got? What do we got? Bot, clump of ones, goats. All right, bot, clump, and goat. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be trying some Teemo Scout for sure. Whenever the new cards come out. I'm pretty surprised we get to trade the Shivana. I'm very surprised by that, honestly. Yeah, I'm honestly really surprised about that. Like your favorite toy. 
A flea for eternity. Yeah, so that, that, the daybreak part of the dragon is just constant for the rest of the game. It's just whatever whoever your next dragon is, or celestial, whichever one, it will just cost you less. Nothing doesn't need to be alive for that. It's just like a background effect. to me they didn't have a Shivana out yet I probably should have just passed back Playing some fun rune terror decks. What are you doing, Zoe? Never answered. Getting ghosted by Zoe. I'm taking the 4 1 to help make the skies descend to cost cheaper. I think maybe we could get a cool skies descend next round. Should've just done this first. We made it a little bit more difficult for them to keep that Zoe alive. Steel. We're not going to win this game because of lifesteal. Alright, 14 out of 20 for Pursuit of Perfection. That is something I care about more than at the Lifesteal. I def like Challenger is pretty rough. That was worse for me. Heart. 
Lord greet the night. Just targ on things. Just targ on things. I do love an audience. So that's seventeen. Does Pursuit count itself? Probably not. Worst possible hit. Those we care for reflect our love. Okay, so it, it looks like it does, because yeah, because it went from twenty to twenty one. So it looks like I could have had it at 19 and then played this. Of course, the life steal keeps them alive. Should level up early in soul. Early in soul needs 25 power and Superspool's 30 by itself. They're still kind of in the driver's seat though with that Zoe. Uh, with that Zoe thing, because all they have to do is play, if they just play a, an elusive, it's going to be really bad for us. I guess I could play, like if I play Great Beyond, no, it's just, it's, gonna, it's just going to kind of be too difficult to get to Sky's Descend, I think. Well... Yeah, and I guess guys ascend with all these spell shields don't matter as much anyway. Uh, yeah, they're just looking for looking for an elusive, especially if they find if they find Great Beyond and get elusive plus spell shield back, we're in a lot of trouble. Spell shield back and overwhelm. Oh, they have Challenger. Let's go, Challenger. What are they doing there? Oh, this is bad. Man, Zoe is busted. <laughs> One mana card. One mana card. 
Um... Yeah, I guess we lose. So this is 12. Uh, so that's 12, 25, 36 overwhelm damage. Yeah, we lose. If I could play multiple slow cards at the same time. The cosmos will collapse eventually. Spell shield, you're so fun. Well, this certainly isn't my fault. Deck just doesn't have any interaction. No, just a couple of them. Just two of them at Challenger, but that's enough. Game's over. So we got Victor Jinx with Freljord. I could see this being a Poro deck. I could definitely see that. This Divergent Pass needs to be a, like a removal spell. Some kind of removal spell. Kind of like Iterative Improvement. Improvement helps out Victor. Whoa, we got Zoe? All right, well that's kind of not fair. I'm sorry, opponent. Okay, yep, it is a Poro deck. All right, back to being fair again. We got the blocker for Zoe. Oh man, the the round two elusive Poro Bont. Yeah, very nice. Augment, <laughs> the worst keyword. Thankfully, Victor already starts with Augment, so can't gain Augment. All of them. All metal. Alright, so we're at four for Zoe. That's the current goal right now, is leveling up Zoe. I mean, Fury Bot doesn't matter. It's these... I have to stop the elusives. Fury doesn't matter. Challenger. Challenger can matter. I'm not winning by attacking. Imagine, oh, okay, that's worse. Let's say imagine like troll chant, things like that, that's worse. We're getting rushed down. 
by all these elusives. The round two elusive patch portal bomb. Pretty good. Um, let's work on for the serpent. Nah, I was worried about that. That's too bad, we're so close for that victor. The small must know when to fight. <laughs> yeah, this game's been pretty sad. We have been... Uh, we have been getting everything killed. We have no quarrel. Our one removal spell. No, no, no. Found it a little late. All right, so Draven Riven with Demacia. I guess Demacia has like the different fight spells and some other pump spells and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, they're probably gonna have pretty decent spells. Keep it. Got cheap stuff. I could just be like mulliganing everything looking for champions. I. I do like, okay, because like Pursuit of Perfection is a card we get to mulligan away. Um, so we like, we get this clump of lumps with the Mushroom Cloud. Um, that will be, you know, half of our rummage, and now we'll just definitely discard this Pursuit of Perfection. I was probably going to be rummaging away whenever we flash billions. Um, yeah, that's kind of our game plan is Pursuit of Perfection. Yep. There are three Pursuit of Perfections in the deck, so we can find others. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. That's nice. We got some champions. Like I said, we can find others. Calm mind and open heart. Greet the night. Um, I ha <laughs> How to counter Malphite? No. no. Everything counters Malphite. There's no... Just because you lose to a deck once doesn't mean that you, that there, you need to go play some specific counter. Like you're, you're probably not going to play against Malphite for the rest of the week. Like again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it. Yeah, sure. Like there, every deck can win. Doesn't mean that you have to go find like some specific counter just because you lose to something. The opponent, you know, did what their deck is trying to do. GGs. 
they got Malphite, they, they stunned your stuff, they won. It's not a big deal. You just, I mean, you just, you know, like, next game, that's probably not going to happen again. Even if you do play against Malphite. I wouldn't be too worried. There's one Hush in our deck. With it being a Singleton deck. Cool, got rid of that Draven. That's important. Oh, this was a viewer submitted donation deck, and that's that's what they wanted to to see on stream, and that's that's what it is. It's like a singleton deck with all these pursuits and everything. I I probably should have found some way to win that that matchup that you know they just had the leveled up Zoe with all the spell shields, but I probably need to find some way to win that game considering. Uh, we were able to play Pursuit of Perfection, and we were able to level up Aurelian Soul. I probably needed to win that Launch game somehow. Hold nothing back. Unfortunately, that's lethal. I mean, I think I think that you can have a, a good singleton deck with these two regions, but I think the you know it's going to be a slow like playing singleton. You're going to have a slow deck, and um, and you know like you're like we're a control deck, right? Like we're a slow control deck with a lot of great late game stuff. But the problem is, is our deck is just much, much, much too much late game. <laughs> I don't know if I say much enough, but like the whole the whole deck is late game right now in card advantage and so yeah we got that covered but all these other decks are just killing us and we do we're not stopping any decks from killing us and i think that that's that's something that i think that uh if we change that you know like there probably needs to be a lot of cards that are changed that keep opponents from killing you hey patek yeah if you want to see any of the decks that we're playing right now just hit exclamation point decks that's that's all the all of my decks and you, uh, you can find them there. Okay, death ray is good. I like the death ray. That's interesting. Thank you, Kid X30. I'm gonna go ahead and death ray my own unit. It keeps them from getting the 1 1, keeps them from healing their nexus for 1, and it keeps them from getting a slay. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. We're playing really fun decks today. I like the decks that we're playing. Unfortunately, I'm kind of expecting Merciless Hunter right here on the Philios. 
which is why I'm taking this Calibrum. Can maybe kill him, Merciless Hunter. Which I didn't take Calibrum, which I would have grabbed Crescendum to get more threats instead, but... That's how it goes. That's alright. We're playing like a slower game right now, which is helping us out. Because, you know, like we just want to get Eclipse Dragon on 7, Aurelian Soul on 8. So far, this is looking pretty good. So we just gotta find ways to do one more damage to this Thrash. It could be one of those things. I'll just hold on to the Moon Silver for now. See what we want to do with it. It's only two out of six. Because that's the other thing. Is I don't really want to kill like these other smaller things and help the Thresh level up. I guess I need to clear some stuff up. Man, but this is four now. Just an open attack is just so much damage. Good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Help us kill this thrash. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Which I guess because of Riot Negation, I guess the safer play would have been just to simply cast a Rillian Soul right now first. Yeah, I guess that would have been the safer play, because if this doesn't work, we lose. They have right negation. Which they do, so we lose. Um, unless you are something really good. That's not it. Yeah, that was that was my mistake. I really should have just played a really soul. I didn't think about that with the right negation. Should just play that to block, because that levels up the Thresh to get to put another... Um, Nasus into play attacking and everything. But anyway, alright, so our deck doesn't work too well. Um, and uh, I think that we can have like a pretty good deck with these regions with Singleton. Um, and yeah, like there's just, there's so many great cards to play in these regions also. There's so many good cards to play. But I think that you, we gotta have a lot more interaction for the opponent. So I would, you know, kind of recommend having 
like Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam, uh, these kind of cards. It's a little rough only playing one Hush, but you know, like, that's kind of how it is. Um, uh, where are you at? Solari Sunhawk. Very good card. Um, Blue Sentinel gets you that extra mana, right? Because we're like a slow control deck. I recommend those kind of like that kind of stuff. Uh, where else are you? We could get an Aftershock in here. We could help protect some of our champions with either Astral Protection or Bastion. I like both of those. Um, I really wouldn't mind either one or um, or both. But I guess we'll just do we'll just put a Bastion in here. Get a Gotcha. Um, more Life Steal with Sunforger. Static Shock, getting some more removal. And probably a... Uh, did I miss the card? Oh yeah, obviously Star Shaping. Yeah, so that, that's a card that I saw that I noticed right away with Star Shaping. Should certainly be in here. Kind of wouldn't mind a Fused Firebrand. But there's a lot of fives. But Fused Firebrand's going to be kind of better than some of the others. Just a great blocker. Is there one that I was missing? No, we got Gotcha in here. Okay. So yeah, I get a few Firebrand in here. All right, so those are those are like a few cards that I would probably want to add in. And then as far as uh, taking cards out, um, I don't think. Yeah, you know, I think that just like the Fuse Firebrand kind of upgrades the Raven. I like Moon Dreamer, but that could be a card that we have to take out. Let's see what else. What else do we have? Um, the Spring Guardian can probably go. But let's see. So Flash of Brilliance, Dragon's Clutch, Divergent Path, Star Tip Peak. All of those can go. Honestly, you could probably just play one iterative improvement. You probably don't need the two. Um. I mean, you, you can play Production Surge if you want. But this isn't a very good Spell Thief metagame. I should have gotten rid of the Spell Thief that I had from before. And the Moon, wep the moon Weapons are a little too expensive. They're Aphelios is fine, but we don't really need the gifts from Beyond. So this gives us 44. We'll get rid of this Clump of Wombs. So this gives us 43. 2320 because we just kind of got some better two drops in here with the Sunhawk the blue Sentinel Sunhawk does like some good blocking everything all right so the the Guardian's gone 42 how are we doing on our curve okay And then maybe it's the Moon Dreamer or Fused Firebrand. Um, one of those. Lots of fours that I just put in here, but they're all pretty good. This should just help us out, though, like with just getting some more life steal with like Sunforger, Star Shaping, getting a lot more interaction, um, be able to kill some stuff, stun some stuff. I think this will help us out quite a bit. And then just got to get rid of two more cards. Kind of whatever you want. Um, Production Surge would honestly be one of mine. We saw that card just doesn't really affect the games enough. And then... Uh, Moon Dreamer or Firebrand... Hymer may be better as Vi... Death Ray, Guiding Touch, other options. I would just let's get rid of one of the iterative improvements. That's, that card's okay. It's it's perfectly fine. It's a good one of, but it, you know you don't really need a lot of those. So, all right, there we go. Especially when we're trying to play like a singleton type deck anyway. So there we go. That, those would be like the upgrades to the deck that I would kind of recommend. Um, so for the person that donated it, hopefully try these uh, new cards out. Hopefully they help out the deck some. Um, but yeah, I think I think that. Uh, I think you can definitely play a singleton deck and have some success. I just didn't have it today. All right, but that's going to be it here for this singleton invoke deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. 
And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. And uh, let me know if you got any other good ideas of other uh, singleton cards that could be in here over anything else. Love to hear those ideas on YouTube for how to uh, improve the deck. All right, but that's it for this deck. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.